this bubble app I'm building is ultimately going to be turned into a marketplace. And one key part of a marketplace is the ability to show a single product. Now the steps that I'm gonna demonstrate in this video and other ones in this category are demonstrating how you create a page that displays a single instance, like a single line in your database. So uh, if you're building uh, like a calendar or booking app, this would be to show one event or one booking. If you were building like a, a CRM SaaS app, then this could be a, 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 a lead or a contact. Um, so let's get ahead and create that page. Um, so new page and call this product. And uh, let's just create it from scratch. Okay, and I'm, I'm just going to copy the layout details from my um, index page. So the UI uh, width, just copy that. Uh, change this to a column. And uh, just to get me started, I'm gonna copy that uh, navigation bar, the header into my page there. Okay, brilliant. Uh, so uh, I'm going to have a two column layout. So I need to add in a group um, and uh, this group is going to be of type row and uh, I'm gonna have a, uh, a max width of my page width because I want it contained uh, within that. Uh, and then I'm also going to, check what I've done here. Yeah, 20, 20 pixels is a great go-to. I'm, I'm gonna add my margins in. So that means that when um, the page shrinks down to like a tablet or mobile, my text isn't touching the very edge of the screen. Um, 20 pixels is a good uh, amount to go for. And then I add in two groups. Um, and uh, this one is gonna be called left. And this one's going to be called right and uh, it's going to be a column uh, and let's get rid of that fixed width let's get rid of that min width just i don't want it causing issues when i go responsive later on in this build um so column uh okay and then you'll see that because i haven't got a max width or set fit to uh with the content uh, i end up with perfectly equal columns uh, and finally, I want to ensure that there is a gap between them. So I'll just put a gap of say 60 pixels. Okay, and so now I have my two columns. Uh, so what normally goes on a product page? Again, this is gonna vary if it's a contact page, but um, the, the layout concepts are all the same. So uh, I'm gonna put in an image um, and we're gonna set the image to fixed ratio square. Yeah, and then uh, we'll say take up the full width, 100% uh, of the, okay. So I was expecting that to be 100% of the container that it's in. Now I'm going, something's not quite worked there, so I'm gonna check my element tree. Um, this is all part of learning. Okay, there we go. That's why it's not worked. It is not actually sat in the left column. Now it is. Uh, it was having to share group B, we'll call this uh, hero section. Um, anyway, now I have got my image in there. And uh, what else does a product page need? Well, it needs to have a header. So I bring in a text box um, for this product name. There'll be a follow-up video showing you how to make all of this dynamic. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna use placeholders. Uh, and then let's go with uh, header one. Um, and we'll just tidy, out, tidy up the width and the height. Uh, fit height to content, that's fine, yep. Okay, uh, then we could do with a subheader. Um, and I'm uh, just going to add in uh, some, I know we'll leave it as it is. I was gonna add in some dummy text, but that's not really needed. Um, yeah, fit height to content, min height, get rid of that. Um, yeah, so this will be kind of the brief description of the product. Um, right, now I think uh, let's add in some additional fields. So we have a product name and we have a subheading or a like short, we'll call it short description. Um, 
And uh, now I think that, oh, okay, let's put in some obvious ones. Uh, we're gonna need the price. Bam, to make that so begin to really flesh out. Um, that's also going to be 100% of the width. Uh, min height, get rid of that, brilliant. Um, I'll just put some default padding in between each of these. Mm. These are all things that I might tidy up later on. Um, and then uh, let's put a button in there. Uh, we need a, a good strong call to action, like an add to cart. Oops, finger slipped. Um, and we will just get rid of the width restraint now. Uh, because I want to add in a button next to it. So I'm going to group this in a row uh, and then I'm going to drag in uh, another group. Let's see what I'm building in a moment. Um, and so this group is going to be of type, we'll go over a line to parent and you'll see why. Uh, and then the width, um, let's make this 60. Uh, um, in main element fixed height. Oh, we want we wanted the full height of the shape that it's in. Cool. Um, then if I just go into my element tree, uh, I'm going to call this uh, call to actions, and uh, I'm going to put some spacing in there, and uh, then let's swap these around. Okay, so I'm creating a box here using a group and the group is going to contain a heart icon because I want to be able to add in a wish list feature. Uh, and I'm demonstrating this because it just shows an, an, another part of designing a layout in Bubble. Uh, uh, and then let's bring in an icon. Ooh, okay. okay, so place the icon in the middle. Heart. Uh, yep, and make it a little bit smaller. Okay, uh, let's have a preview. Okay, so I think it, uh, one of the issues is that everything is uh, kind of attaching itself to the left. Uh, let's try and fix that. Uh, I have a feeling I have to select uh, my hero section here. Uh, and then left that one. It's just the, uh, there we go, it's now centered. Um, can I add, put a background color into the image here? Uh, let's give it a border just to show that it shows up. Okay, uh, and then just because it's driving me mad, I think there needs to be some spacing. Um, let's go for uh, 40 pixels. Okay, um, there we go. So that shows a kind of a, a solid approach for laying out two columns, uh, for adding in elements that share a row. Uh, and yeah, there you go. You've got the beginnings of a product page, but this could just as easily be an image of a person and their person's name and like um, call this if it, you'll call them if it's like a CRM uh, or, or, you know, you could be showing calendar events, um, whatever your bubble app requires. Um, here is a, yeah, hopefully this has been a good start of you in creating a page that shows a single item from your database.